So today guys, we're gonna be talking about, are you too old to learn how to code? This seems to be a question among older individuals who are concerned about it. And we're gonna tell you why you're not, and maybe why you are, you don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna shit on all the old people today. It's not gonna happen. You're not too old, TL TLDR, you're not too old. Let's dive into it a little bit deeper as to why. So since you're never too old to learn anything, it's a good time to do a shout out to the Hacking Reloaded Temporary E-Bundle. If you're interested in game hacking, how to hack a car, um, penetration testing, security on iOS or Android, and all that other good stuff, click the link in, in the description below. Uh, again, this is only good for about the next two weeks, but a uh, pretty good deal. At the very least, for a dollar, you can get five or four books and a, a coupon. And uh, as always, you'll have the option of choosing uh, who you want to give your money to. If you want to give it all to me, you want to give it all to charity. Uh, today's charity is, there's two different ones, but you're, you, you can split it up so that you can donate to a good cause as well. So if you're watching this video, you're probably worried that for whatever reason you have it in your head that you're too old to code or that you're too old to break into the industry or you're making up excuses. And, you know, I don't want to say excuses. It sounds like I don't understand because I do, right? I'm about to turn 30 next month and about half the people I work with are younger than me. Uh, they're, you know, around the 25 age mark and they have more years of experience than me and they are much better developers than I am. And they're, you know, they're, they're killing it, right? Uh, they're, doing, they're doing good and it's great to be around people like that. So I understand, you know, feeling intimidated at times. But at the end of the day, if you're thinking, I want to be a developer, what's the alternative? And you have to really think about what you're going to do. And I wanted to show this article. I'll include it in the link below. But here we have an 80-year-old woman. So automatically what this says to me that if you're 82 and over, we give you a pass. We, I speak for the coding community and say, if you are 82 years or older, kind sir or ma'am, uh, the, to the grandmothers and grandfathers out there, 82 years older, the coding community gives you a pass about being worried about being too old. If you are 81 years or younger, man up, woman up, and start coding. All right, so stop worrying. A lot of times the worst things in life are the apprehension. So in this case, uh, anyhow, the reason I bring this up, I think it's a great example of showing that um, this woman started using, using computers at the age of 60. So... She never touched a computer until she was 60. Then she built her first app at the age of 81, a game that she wanted to put out on the market. And really inspiring. I encourage you to, to watch not only uh, the TED Talk, but also read, read the, the very brief synapses of it. So why do I bring that up? Well, I just wanted to give you a good example of somebody who said, hey, I don't care how old I am. I'm just going to code. Uh, and I'm going to build what I want to build, and it will be a journey. But let's just say that you're not 80, and you're 40 or whatever, and you're, you know, you have kids and a wife and a husband and a mortgage and all that sort of stuff, and you're thinking of making a transition. Now, why are you trying? Why are you trying to jump careers? Is the first place, and the question is because, or the answer is either one because you don't make any money, or two because you're unhappy, right? And it could be that you're unhappy because you don't make any money. That's that's fair. Um, so what's the alternative? Is the alternative to stay unhappy? Is the alternative to say, you know what? I am just going to keep doing what I don't want to keep doing, right? And as I've said time and time again, 70% of employees hate their job. 70%. The majority of people in this country hate their job. Hate. There's very few things that I can say I actually hate. Hate. People hate their jobs. And why, why am I emphasizing this fact? Well, because you go to work five out of seven days out of the week, traditionally, and eight to eight plus hours a day. And it's assuming that you're not working overtime and assuming that you're getting fairly compensated and all that sort of stuff. So the alternative is to stay in something that the, that you're clearly at some point unhappy with. And why did I say, well, do how do you know you're unhappy? Well, if you were very fulfilled and happy in your current job and role, why would you be trying to transition to another role? Um, 
it's usually people change jobs because they're unhappy. Maybe their current job doesn't give them benefits. Maybe they'll make enough money to have a, a family. Maybe they want to be more mentally stimulated. Maybe they, they, they're burnt out on doing whatever it is that they're doing, right? And when you think about, okay, well, I'm, I'm 40, I'm 50, looking to do a career change. Is it, is it going to be hard? Everything's going to be hard. Stop looking for guarantees. And this is what I really think it comes down to is stop being afraid of investing your time and energy into something and, and being afraid that it may not work out. Stop worrying about that and just get started. Just get going. And I can tell you from my standpoint, when I, when I stopped going to school and I, I decided I was going to go the self-taught route, I remember thinking like how scary it was but there was no turning back right i'm diving all in i'm the only person that thought this was a good idea everyone else in my family probably assumed i was gonna be a crackhead on the street or something i don't, I don't know what they said but you, you know it never sounds like a good plan no one believes you until you do it so go out there and do it right and i remember april love her to death and she's always been very supportive but she's trying to have a very practical conversation with me and say hey at what point do you go back to school is it a year from now when you can't get a development job? Is it two years from now? What happens? And my goal was a year. God bless I did it in nine months and I was happy and proud. And it's been a great roller coaster ride. I've loved it every minute. And it's scary, right? It's scary investing the time and energy. I was coding four hours after a full-time job and then eight to 12 to 14 hours every day on the weekend. I was putting in probably 40 to 60 hours easy a week coding outside of work sleeping not going to the gym or anything just trying to code and no one guaranteed me a job no one guaranteed they said hey dylan there is a light at the end of that tunnel you need to guarantee yourself i and when she when she asked me that that and out of the she was caring for me she wanted to make sure that hey do you have a plan and i did but uh it wasn't a negative ask it was hey let's bring reality into this person who's very hyped up and Nothing is. What are you talking about? I'm I'm getting there, right? I have I'm guaranteeing myself because I'm putting the work in to get to where I want to go, and here we are. And you can be where you want to go too. You just got to not be afraid to put the work in and study and code every day and power through. Your age is nothing but a number, right? And that's really it. And you have to be hey. If you're, if you're an older gentleman or lady, there's a lot of benefits that come along with that as well. I know a lot of people are very worried. They're like, oh, well, I'm older and, you know, I'm going to be working with, I'm working with guys younger than me, have more experience than me. Granted, not as big of a gap as if I was 40, but five years experience and they have three, four, five years experience on me or five years difference of three, four, year, five years experience on me. You say, well, all right, Dylan, well, I'm 45 and they're 25. That's 20 years experience. Yeah. Okay. And you're, you're getting started, by the time you're 60, you have 15 years experience in the industry. You just have to get going, man. It's not a big deal. And you just have to continue to work on yourself, work on your skill set, and go in there. A lot of times there's benefits. One of the benefits to hiring somebody who's, let's just say, 45 versus a 23 or 24-year-old or 22-year-old straight out of college they know you want it, right? You're making a big career change. They're just getting their career started. You have relevant work experience. You probably have skills that make you very interesting. I know that um, my one of my old coworkers, he was 36, kind of kind of getting his life together. He had spent his first 12 years at a high at a high school straight in the military. With no experience in coding. Went to school, spent another four years, and at the age of 35, became a developer. And, and continue going forward. There is no there's no age at which you can stop doing this. This 80 year old, 81 year old grandmother presumably started using computers at 60 and built her own app at 81. And after six months, you can do it too. And it's just a matter of believing and being willing to work. And at 20 at, at 45, for instance, uh, I'm just saying that as a general middle age anyhow. So if you're older or younger, don't sweat it. It's just a random number uh, that I consider middle age. So at 45, you have probably presumably family, a kids, a mortgage. You are a very stable individual and they don't have to worry about things that maybe they might have to worry about maybe a youngster, if you will, uh, who maybe on the weekdays goes out and drinks. 
Not that I have anything against that, but as an employer, you want somebody stable, mature, somebody who values the job, who's going to show up on time. And maybe you have experience in the industry, but not necessarily in software, but the, the realm that they're in, that makes you a very attractive candidate. You have life experience. You have you have uh, job experience. You have other skills that may be relevant to the role that may make you um, outshine some of the, the younger individuals. But you never think about that, right? You just think about everything that can go wrong. That's, that's it. Why don't you guys start thinking about what can go right? Stop worrying about... The anticipation of, oh, well, no one's guaranteeing me that if I put in the time and the energy and I've already wasted so much time in this other industry and, oh, my God, stop all that. Stop all that. Like, I understand, man. It's scary. It's scary putting yourself out into the world. It's scary investing the time and energy when you feel you're already behind. I understand that. I really, really do. And um, all you can do is say all you can do is look at the situation objectively and say what's the alternative is the alternative to stay in a situation i clearly something about it i don't like clearly there's something about it that makes me unhappy or do i pull the trigger do i pull the trigger study every day get to the point where i feel i'm ready for a development job and then i dive into it and i i go and i go i go until i'm there so the alternative to stay and be unhappy, stay and continue doing something you don't want to do, is probably the worst decision you can make. So I hope that if you are one of those people who are worried and you're one of the people who ask me how long have you been coding for, what age, all that sort of stuff, you think you think I you think I like it when I see twelve year olds that are coding circles around me? No, man. I don't. Good for them, but I don't like it either. It's just one of those things, guys, where we all are at different stages of our life and you just have to understand that whatever choices you made, maybe they were bad choices, maybe they're good choices, but a good choice is to invest in yourself and plan for the future. And a bad choice is to not invest in yourself even though you're scared and and to stay in something that you're unhappy with. So I hope you guys stop worrying about are you old enough to code? At you know, at what age can you still be a developer? Unless you're 82 or old, older, the coding community gives you a pass until you go and bring out your app and then you raise that shit up. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all the best. I know it's scary. I know, man. Investing time, energy, money into something is scary. Uh, it's not as scary as not doing it though. So uh, I wish you all the best. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. The the um, the Patreon, the Discord channel, all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, share. Good luck, guys. Bye. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.